I will show you how to draw a cauliflower. It's a very healthy vegetable. Now let's begin. First, we need a big letter U, and then the arms, and the legs. The other arm. Look, he's holding a hairbrush. Now let's start with his hair and his face. I bet he has a lot of hair. Now these are his eyes. And a big smile. And now look at his hair. See, I told you, he has a lot of hair. His hair is short, but very thick. I will put a bow tie here. And now, let's do all this again. And my friend, it's coloring time! Let's get started with yellow for his hair. You can use a big brush because we don't have a lot of details here. Now, I will mix the yellow color and the blue color to make green color, and that is for the body. Okay, let's do it. But remember, you might need a smaller brush because we have some details here. Don't forget the arms and the legs, okay? Now, let's get some red color for the hairbrush. And finally, the pink color for the bow tie. How cute! We still have a lot of pink color, so let's use that for the background. We can use a big brush for that to save time. For a change, we can use blue color for the other half of the background. So cute! Now it's glittering time! Let's get some glue on her hair, shall we? Put some yellow paper for the hair. This is the most beautiful hair I have ever seen. Now, some glue for the green color. And that is the arms and the legs. 
Okay, now where's my green glitter? Here it is. Let's do it. Oh, our broccoli friend is so gorgeous. So remember to eat enough green, okay? It's very healthy. I hope to see you again next time. Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to draw a chef. The chef is the one who makes food in the restaurant. Now let's start. First of all, I will draw a chef's hat. Like this one. And under the hat is her hair. And then her ears. She has a round face. So her head is almost like a circle. A big smile, two little eyes, and two cute cheeks. The chef always wears an apron to keep her clothes clean. A small pocket on the front, two arms, and look, she is cooking. You can see some cooking tools on her hands. Like this big spoon. And on her left hand is the scrapper. Our chef friend also has long hair. And look, there's a lot of food around her, like this cupcake, or the eggs, or some vegetables. And some bread. Now let's do all this again. It's coloring time now. Let's get our brush and colors ready. The first color I will use is yellow. I will use this color for the pocket of the chef and also the yolk of the egg. Now more yellow for the wrap of the cupcake. Next color is pink. Pink is for the chef's hair. The chef has long pink hair. More pink for the cherry on top of the cupcake or the sausage on the pizza and we need some purple color for the cheeks of the chef and some more purple for her purple striped shirt and also for the jam on the toast now next color I will mix red and yellow and we have orange Orange is for the cupcake. More orange for the toast. I still have some orange, so I will use that on the spoon. Here I have some green color, and that is for the apron. The chef has a green apron. Do you know what else is green? Yes, the vegetables. Let's put some green on the vegetables. Now we're back to yellow color. Let's put some yellow on the pizza dough. And let's put some blue on the scrapper. Oh, 
also some blue for the handle of the spoon. And guess what? Her shirt is also blue. Blue and purple shirt. Beautiful one. Here, I have some skin color for the chef face. If you don't have the skin color, we can always mix a little bit of orange, white and pink. That's all the colors we need. Now it's glitter time. Let's apply some glue on the colors first. Now green glitter for the apron. Pink glitter for the chef's hair. She has pink hair. Some more glue on the cupcake. Orange glitter on the orange cupcake. Woo! Some more glue on the scrapper. And we will use some blue glitter on the blue color. And ta-da! This is our chef friend. She cooks so many delicious food. I hope you had fun today. See you next time. Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to draw a butterfly. Do you have your marker yet? Let's begin. First of all, we need a circle. And that's the face of the butterfly. A smiley face. The butterfly has some hair on top. And especially, the butterfly has a beautiful wings. Let's move on with the bodies, including two arms, a skirt, and two legs. Our front butterfly has a very cute flower. And here is the other wing on the other side. It's also beautiful. Do you know some butterfly have four wings? Like this one. Some are very colorful and have a lot of decorations on the wings. Just like our friends. And that's all with the drawing. So let's do all that again. Now, it's coloring time! Have your brushes and your colors ready! First of all, we need to get a little bit of yellow color for the butterfly's hat. I suggest using a small brush because we have too many details. Now, the same brush, the same color for a small part of the wings. Now, the next color I will use is the skin color, like this one. That's for the face of the butterfly. If you don't have the skin color, you can mix the yellow color with a little bit of red color. Very easy! So for this part, we need a very small brush because we have the eyes and the mouth and the hair and you don't want to put the skin color on them. I will also put the skin color on the hands of the butterfly. And the same color for the legs as well. Woo! Now I will use a bigger brush and use the blue color for a part of the wings. Here. Now 
Now let's mix some color. I'll get some yellow color first and then I'll mix it with a little bit of blue color and I have green color. I will put this green color to a part of the wings right next to the blue color. already very colorful now. Mixing color is fun. Let's mix some more. I will get some red color and mix it with some blue color. And I have purple. Now this purple color is for the last part of the big wings right next to the green color. If the big brush is too hard for you to color, we can get the smaller one, as long as you feel comfortable and easy for you. some yellow color and some red color. Now I have orange color. And that is for the small wings, the part next to the yellow color. We mix a lot of colors today, right? Because these butterflies are so colorful. And now, let's get the pink color out. And do you know what is pink? It's the dress of the butterfly. If you don't have pink, you can always mix the red color with the white color and we have pink. And now, I will use green color again for the last part of the small wings on the left. The same part but on the right, I will use some purple color. Last thing is the flower. I want it to be blue. And maybe pink color for the inside. Oh, look, that's so beautiful. Now it's glittering time to make the butterfly more shiny. We definitely need some glue on the wings and on the dress. Be careful though, we don't want to make a mess. Now, purple glitter or purple color on the wings. Green glitter for the green color of the wings. And pink glitter for the dress. Now, I will use some blue color for the background. It's going to be a lot of blue color, so be patient. You can use a bigger brush to save time. Okay, almost there. And now, this is our colorful butterfly. She's so cute, right? I had so much fun today. I hope to see you again.